For at TV, the world is thinking. Now, it's also commonly imagined that atheists think there is nothing beyond human life and human understanding. The truth is that atheists are, are free to admit that there's much about the universe we don't understand. I mean, it is obvious we don't understand the universe. But it is even more obvious that neither the Bible nor the Quran reflects our best understanding of it. There could be life on other planets, complex life, technical, technically uh, accomplished civilizations. I mean, just imagine a civilization a million years old as opposed to a few thousand. Atheists are free to imagine this possibility. They're also free to admit that if such brilliant extraterrestrials exist, the Bible and the Quran are going to be even less impressive to them than they are to human atheists. <laughs> it's often imagined that atheists are in principle closed to spiritual experience. But the truth is that athe there's nothing that prevents an atheist from experiencing self-transcending love, or ecstasy, or rapture, or awe. In fact, there's nothing that prevents an atheist from going into a cave for a year or a decade and, and practicing meditation like a proper mystic. What atheists don't tend to do is make unjustified and unjustifiable, unjustifiable claims about the cosmos on the basis of those experiences. Now, but there's no question that disciplines like meditation and prayer can have a profound effect upon the human mind. But do the positive experiences of, say, Christian mystics over the ages suggest that Jesus is the sole savior of humanity? Not even remotely, because, because Christians have been having these experiences, but so have Buddhists and Muslims and even atheists. So, so there's a deeper reality here, and it makes a mockery of religious denominations. The fact is that whenever human beings make an honest effort to get at the truth, they reliably transcend the accidents of their, of their birth and upbringing. I mean, just as it, it would be absurd to speak about Christian physics, though the Christians invented physics, and it would be absurd to speak about Muslim algebra, though the Muslims invented algebra, it will one day be absurd to speak about Christian or Muslim ethics or spirituality. And whatever is true about our circumstance in ethical, and spiritual tr in ethical and spiritual terms is discoverable now and can be articulated without offending all that we've come to understand about the nature of the universe. And certainly without making divisive claims about the unique sanctity of any book or or pegging these most beautiful features of our lives to rumors of ancient miracles. Finally, there's, there's this notion that atheism is responsible for the greatest crimes in the 20th century. Now this is actually, it's quite amazing to me. This is the most frequent objection I come across, so I think I should deal with it briefly. Um, it is amazing how many people think that the crimes of Hitler and Pol Pot and Mao were the result of atheism. The truth is, this is a total misconstrual of what went on in those societies and, and of the psychological and social forces that allow people to follow their dear leader over the brink. I mean, the problem with fascism and communism was not that they were too critical of religion. The problem is they're too much like religions. I mean, these are, these are utterly dogmatic systems of, of thought. I, mean, I recently had a, a debate with Rick Warren in the, in the pages of Newsweek. And he suggested that, that North Korea was a model atheist society and that any atheist with the courage of his convictions should want to move there. The truth is, North Korea is organized exactly like a faith-based cult, centered on the worship of, uh, worship of Kim Jong-il. The North Koreans apparently believe that the shipments of food aid that they receive from us to keep them from starving to death are actually devotional offerings to Kim Jong-il. Is too little faith really the problem with North Korea? Is, is, is too much skeptical inquiry what is wrong here? It's Auschwitz, the gulag, and the killing fields are not the product of atheism. They are pro they're the product of other dogmas run amok, nationalism, political dogma, 
Hitler did not engineer a genocide in Europe because of atheism. In fact, Hitler doesn't even appear to have been an atheist. He, he regularly invoked Jesus in his speeches. But that's beside the point. He did it on the basis of other beliefs, dogmas about Jews and, and the, the purity of German blood. The history of Muslim jihad, however, does have something to do with Islam. The atrocities of September 11th did have something to do with what 19 men believed about martyrdom and paradise. The fact that we're not funding stem cell research at the federal level does have something to do with what Christians believe about conception and the human soul. It's important to focus on the specific consequences of specific ideas. So I want, I want to make it very clear that I am not holding religion responsible for every bad thing that a religious person has done in human history to be balanced against all the bad things that, that atheists have done. I'm only holding religion responsible for what people do and will continue to do explicitly for religious reasons, 